Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have Gundam Log number 39 and today uh, there's some stuff that I would like to talk about. Uh, currently I'm, cur I'm building a kit at the moment and that kit is the Master Grade Nemo from Zeta Gundam. Now, I have been searching this kit for a long long time. I think it's been up to two to three years since I was looking for this kit. Uh, uh, to be part of, there's no, there's not like a special reason. It's just the, the fact that this is a grunt suit and it's not, it's a grunt or mass production type. But at the same time, it's not exactly a GM variant. It's a variant on its own, uh, basically. So there, this is basically a, a whole new different mobile suit. That's why it got my attention. And the price is really cheap for Master Grade. This is even cheaper than the Master Grade GM 2.0, which this is technically build up build based on the 2.0 technology. So I don't know how that works. Anyway, I am so glad I was able to find this because um, this Friday Gundam Base actually got a, a, a new stocks of these kits. So I was so, you know, really happy. But at the same time, there's a problem going on with my plan, so that I will get into later. But currently, I have finished building the body and the head, and I am really impressed. Here it is. Um, one thing that is. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but I am not seeing any stickers at the moment. No stickers at all. The only st sticker type thing you get are the are the dry transfer decals and other um, transparent decals actually. So no stickers at all. So I'm really impressed because the high grade version, which I have, uh, the desert color, has so many freaking stickers, unnecessary stickers. So I'm really impressed. I'm really enjoying the build. Once again, I'm a mass production um, mobile suit or grunt suit nut, so this, I'm I'm just so hyped about this as well. Um, now this week, the problem I was having is that I was just going to either buy the Master Grade Nemo or the Master Grade Gog this week, but uh, Gundam Base just had to do this to me. Now they got re finally got a restock on two certain mobile suits or two Master Grades, and one of them was the Master Grade GNX or Jinx, where everybody calls it these days, and the second one is the Master Grade Kira Doga, and this is the first time that the store actually had three Master Grades I was looking for. And one of them was the Master Grade Nemo, so I went for that as well. Well, technically four, but the Gog, the Gog, I will get into that later. But anyway, I was so I don't know, I, my my mind was so. Um, Dizzy, I wasn't sure what to get or how. What should I do? So I'm, I was really struggling. I asked you guys to help me out, and a lot of you guys were talking or telling me to get the Master Grade Nemo or the Gear Doga. Uh, some people were going for the Gog, and um, I had to analyze my situation. So this is what I did. As currently, you guys saw, I, I bought the Master Grade Nemo, definitely, and then so basically. Uh, some people were gave me some good info on the Master Grade Jinx, and I decided to delay my purchase on that because I heard it uses some the some same parts as the Exia. And as my experience with with the Master Grade Exia, I decided to delay the kit for now. Uh, basically, in a few weeks later, or a few one or two months later, if they have some extra stocks left with the GNX or Jinx, I will get that. But for now, it's going to be delayed. I'm not sure when I'm going to get it. So. To the point, it came to the point where it was the Master Grade Gog versus the Master Master Grade Gear Doga. A lot of people are um, recommending the Gear Doga because of the its new. Uh, it's a really great kit, which I do admit it, it, it. I saw a lot of reviews. It was a great kit. For the Master Grade Gog, uh, I would basically decide to buy the Gog in terms of, in Master Grade form for my aquatic Xeon kits, and I don't see much reviews on the kit as well. So that's why I was really struggling. So basically, I usually I went back to the basics of myself to ask myself, what do I want? Which one do I want? And basically, the problem is those two are both kits that has been on my list for a while, and they kind of intersected with each other. So I went with my second mess on, which mess it, which was which one is more difficult to get. The pro oh, okay before that, both of them the price was not a problem for me. I had the money for either one of them. And I also had like a lot of discount points and a extra 15% discount coupon. So I, the price was not a problem, but I can only buy one. So I asked myself, which one is the more difficult one to get? And basically with the rarity. And despite the GOG being more older and the Kirodoga is a more newer kit, 
The Girardola seems to be a little bit rare in other countries as well. The Gog, okay. Anyway, so basically that's why I went for the Girardola. And thank you guys for giving me a lot of suggestions as well. And yeah, uh, I won't be building this this week because I'm kind of out of time. I can't build... I, I do not build kits on Sundays because I usually make the review on the next day. So, uh, and on Mondays to Friday, I have school, so I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, the fact that you guys know, should know that I got this kit. The, but there's another thing I should mention. Because I got the Gear Doga, I will no longer be searching or hunting down the Mat, the P, P Bandai or Premium Bandai exclusive Gear Doga full frontal version. So, that's out of my list anymore. No more. So, since I have this, that's no more. Now for the Master Gate GOG, the reason why I went for this, the Master Gate GOG, sure it's more cheaper, but the reason was that I've seen the Master Gate GOG at the shop for a long time. Every time I go to the, to the Gundam base, either one of them, they would have the Master Gate GOG there all the time. Because Master Gate GOG is not a popular kit, is not a popular kit in Korea. Because I read a review in Korean, uh, Telling that in Korea the Master Grade GOG is not a popular kit because of its design, because the design kind of has a sumo wrestler concept. That's a, that, I think that's uh, Da Long's wrote. Uh, basically, I'm Korean, he's Korean, I can read Korean, so that's how that's how he wrote it anyway. It's a interesting concept, but I don't know. I I don't really see a sumo wrestler concept, but yeah, because of the the design, it's not popular. So I I'm pretty sure I have enough time wait to get that kit later and I think I'm going to delay it even more because last time I went to go buy the Girardoga the shop had a bunch of GM variants in terms of Masquerade they have the Masquerade GM 2.0 they have the GM Custom they have the GM Type C space and ground type uh, they had even the Masquerade Ball uh, Shark Ball and the orange one I forgot the name for that one but yeah yeah uh, so that's how it is and Two more Master Grade purchase from the Gundam base. I can get one Master Grade for free, and I have a big, strong candidate who's the, for the Master Grade I'm going to get. And, and it's not the Master Grade GM Sniper too, because that one's going. I assume that's going to come out cheap. Uh, basically, with my membership ranking, I can only get a kid that's lower than seventy-five dollars. I think if I did the calculations correctly, and yeah, uh, I won't be me mentioning the candidate yet because I don't want to spoil too much stuff okay another uh, another for future events I'm pretty sure next week I think it's next week or in two weeks the high grade um, shit in frame and the gear is gonna come out you can expect a review from me that from that um, another good news is that on Friday there was no high mock at the Gundam base which I was really surprised and I was kind of being frustrated but I went to a different branch today and they had it. They only had two left, and I got one of the two left. And I also got this, the weapon for the high mock. Yeah. Um, so this will be my kit for the drunk build-off. Now, uh, once again, I would like to apologize my selfish manner on this kit, because a lot, a number of you guys suggested this kit to use, uh, to use this kit for my drunk build-off. And I was kind of expecting something more, but... Uh, so I was... I asked you guys to vote for for other kits, but once again, uh, I'm I'm the I'm the guy who will always say not to judge a kit until unless you actually built it. So that I I felt really bad. So I, I decided to go for this kit, and the more I actually look at it, uh, the more I'm starting to like the kit. So um, so depending on this kit, I might actually this might be my first official kit, high grade kit to for me to buy another one because I have if if basically. If this, there's something I'm trying to work on, and if it actually works, I might actually get another one, and actually this time color it with paint, and then make a uh, mimic version of a certain mobile suit. Because as far as I know, the mo high mock or mocks are usually um, training mobile suits, or sometimes they replicate or mimic some other certain mobile suits uh, in terms of design or weapons. So I have something in mind, and, and yeah. So next week, next week. Friday night, I will be doing a drunk build off with this kid, and I will be explaining how I'm going to do stuff on the live stream as well. So please stay tuned. And once again, some of you guys might be asking, "Hey, what about what happened to those two P Bandai kits you got? The the High Grade Universal Century Juagu uh, MSV version and the P Bandai RG Zigok." I okay. The 
after I basically announced all the dates on Facebook and YouTube on the future plans of kids, this is kind of getting unexpected. So the Peabody kids, I'm not sure, but I, I wish I am trying to get one more aquatic mobile suit, Master Gear or High Gear, whatever, and then I'm 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 starting to I'm thinking of starting the kit. But next week, two new kits comes out, so I, I can't guarantee you next week, but maybe next next week I'll be working on those as well. So yeah, that's it for this Gundam blog. Gundam log. So thank you for watching this Gundam log number thirty nine. If you enjoyed this series or video, please like my videos and also subscribe to my channel. If you guys any have any questions or requests, leave a comment below and I will try to answer those as you know as much as possible I can. Anyway, thank you for watching. I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews of. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time. <laughs>